So this final section, we'll look at what's called the, the vertex enumeration algorithm. And what this algorithm uh, does is it essentially um, builds the polytopes like we've been doing. And once it's built the polytopes, it finds all the vertices like we've been doing. And so, uh, so far we've got four, uh, four P, we've got zero, zero, one third, zero, uh, zero, a third, and a quarter, a quarter. And then for, for Q, we had uh, actually the same uh, vertices. Once we've found all the vertices, we label them. So we've, we've done this uh, already, so I'm just gonna write them down here. So zero, zero had labels zero, one uh, in P. One, three, zero had labels one and three. Zero, a third, zero and two, a quarter, a quarter had two and three, and Q, zero, zero had two and three, a third and zero had zero and three, and zero, a third had one and two, and a quarter, a quarter had zero and one. Now, um, these vertices don't correspond to strategies yet, right? Because a third zero is not a strategy. Um, but if it's normalized so that the sum is one, then indeed it becomes a strategy, all right? Um, so what, what the next part of the algorithm is, is to consider um, all pairs of uh, vertices. So in other words, you take one, three, and zero, and we match it up with, with that one. We take zero, one third, and we match it up with that one. We take one quarter, one quarter, and match it up with all those. So we look at all the pairs. Note, we actually just ignore zero, zero, because zero, zero, even when normalized, will never be a strategy. So we just ignore zero, zero. It's an, in, in effect, it's the dummy uh, vertex pair. So we consider all these pairs, and we look at the union of the labels. So for example, for, for this pair here, uh, the union of the labels is zero, one, and three, okay? Neither of these have a uh, two. And we go through all of them, and in fact, there's only one in this particular set, which is this one, which has all of them. And so this is a fully labeled vertex pair. Now, a fully labeled vertex pair um, actually corresponds to a Nash equilibria. Um, and that's simply because, and that's great news because that makes things a bit more algorithmic, that's simply because if the pair is fully labeled, then either a strategy is not played or it's a best response to the other player's strategy, okay? So we have a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter, a quarter, and we're saying that those correspond to a Nash equilibria. So the, the final step is to say, okay, um, x equals a quarter, a quarter, and y equals a quarter, a quarter. This is not a Nash equilibria. This is a fully labeled vertex pair. We get the Nash equilibria by normalizing. So that's simply saying, Let's take this particular vector, sum all of its entries, and divide by that sum. So we get that uh, sigma r is equal to a half, a half, and sigma c is equal to a half, a half. And that is a Nash equilibrium. So all of this seems like quite a lot of work because we had to uh, build the polytope, find the vertices, label the vertices, and finally, um, examine all pairs of vertices. Now, that is a lot of work, um, but at least it's algorithmic. Uh, we just know what we have to do. In practice, where this begins to get a bit harder is as soon as we go into three dimensions, I mean, even three dimensions hard, but four and fifth, we can't really draw these polytopes, and so it becomes a bit more difficult to identify uh, the vertices. But what we're gonna see in the next uh, section, the next chapter is how to do that algebraically, uh, making this even more um, 
uh, even more algorithmic.